Welcome to the real world. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video. More specifically, a redstone video. As I said in that uh, short little video, why I didn't have a video yesterday. Um, I was on this world, and I said I was gonna make something. There was a little sneak peek over here. I finally got this working. So this is the concept for the uh, combination lock. I think one of the last ones we made, uh, or one of the ones we made, we made a combination lock right here with the, uh, I think it was even numbers or odd numbers, something like that. Well, that was just simply if you had the right buttons pressed. This is the correct order pressed. Now, of course, you could do this with buttons. But it would require a lot more pistons, or actually, it would require pistons. This doesn't require pistons, um, but it uses levers. So right now, uh, let's just assume that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if we were to press one, two, or three, nothing would happen. I don't even have something hooked up for them. If we were to press four, and then five, six, six won't activate. Which, by the way, it's not five as the next one or even four is the first you press five and then any multitude of these neither none of them are going to work but if you press six four five as you see all three lit up back here it's because of a multitude of connections that are disabling and the reason i don't have all of them disabling this one at times or this one disabling a lot of them is because as long as one of them is blocked by another switch it allow or er, basically the thing won't open because you have to have all three of these positive before it'll open so yeah that's pretty cool and uh, so that's the concept now I'm gonna build this on camera so that you can see the concept of what I did in fact uh, you know let's play with some new stuff polished diorite and granite Alright, we'll make a basic floor real quick. Doesn't have to be too fancy. And I'll even hook up the uh, top uh, three switches just so they uh, do something. That way, if you activate one, it disables all or something like that. Um, let's grab that other one too. And a site. Alright, let's get this up. In this case, I'm gonna want the levers here, here, and here. So yeah, this is obviously not what yours is gonna look like. Well, at least most likely. If it is, then okay. That's your choice. Um, now I'm gonna attach the levers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag out the connection a little bit of the three I'm gonna want to use. In this case. I'm actually gonna use here. Wait on, did I mess this up? I think I did. Yeah. Um. Wait. No, I didn't. Derp. All right. So I'm gonna gr drag out these three because these are the three I'm gonna want to use. And I'm gonna have a redstone repeater. Of course, this is gonna change for you if you're building in creative survival. It also depends on the location. I just happen to be building on a flat sand world. Or desert, I guess. Because it's not all sand. It's also got cactus. But yeah. So that could change. You may be on a hill. So it may be partially in the air. Like I said, the conditions may vary. So yeah, I'm going to want to make the combination. Um, I'm going to use... Oh, let's get a signs real quick. I'm going to mark them when I want them to be. I'm going to want this as the first one. Second one. And third one. And of course, this is configurable however you want. I'm just showing on camera the concept of me making it on camera. Because I know um, from watching people build stuff before. Which, by the way, I have not looked up this design. I built this on my own. Um, if there's other designs out there, you can feel free to use them. Uh, I just don't like to look at other ones unless I seriously can't figure it out, um, which I was able to figure it out. But I've learned er, and know that looking at this won't really help you build, but 
what I used to get help from is actually watching the person build it. So, yeah. And so now we have this. We want this one to be the correct one. What we're going to want to do is also have on the on the first one you're only going to want one repeater facing in towards it. Uh, your first repeater because if signal goes into this it's gonna lock this so if you put signal on it it's not gonna power anything from the repeater as seen right there but if I were to disable that and then lock it it's now permanently powering so that's how that works and we're gonna be using that to make this now of course this one right here is gonna be a little different so what I'm gonna do because I had that redstone build right there is I'm actually going to extend this one out to here and I'm going to pull out the redstone but this is going to be a little different I'm going to have a repeater right here but instead of having the normal repeater right there what I'm going to have is uh, I'm not sure how this is going to fully look yet so we put the repeater there and there now what this is actually let's move that one closer so what this does is basically this is what would normally kill it if you to use the wrong combination. But the problem is if you're using the correct combination, that would also kill it. So using the correct combination is going to hit this one, which will allow this connection to still work. So if we want that to work, we're going to add a redstone dust to this one. Right? Uh, hold on. Let me make sure. i got to go over here and reference real quick if I was taking before or after. Yeah, it's like an after. Hey creeper. And um we are going to take the signal down. And that was way too far. And since we still have the convenience of having this as high as it is, we could just drag this along, throw a random repeater, and avoid connecting the redstone to that. Okay, I'm gonna connect this up here now. And this is for the, if you're using the correct one. So right now we're going to pull the lever at the first one to make sure it's all working properly. And then it should send a signal over here which will disable this one. So now if I were to activate a lever, nothing's going to disable that one. But if the wrong combination was pressed, we'll be adding that later. Um, I'm just going to make sure we have the correct ones working first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable that for now. And now I want the middle one to work. And the middle one, uh, we're going to just drag, uh, you know, we're going to drag this one up. The benefit of this one being a higher up one, it can be dragged up here easily. So we're actually going to drag the repeater as well. And now that we have that, we can add a, well, right now I'm going to add one right here for a disable. And I just realized that's the third one. Um, but yeah, this connection would also, oh yeah, I guess it's a good thing I put that up there. So I'm going to add a repeater because I don't remember where that connection ended. And I'm going to grab glowstone. Alright, I think the thing forgot to notify me about my 10 minute timer, so I'm just going to rip that back down real quick. Um, yeah, I just said I was going to grab glowstone. I made it a glowstone tower. No need me building that on camera. That's pretty easy to build. And I'm going to build that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to have that repeater there, which I think I've shown on camera. I kind of half looked at the video. And we're going to add the same thing we activated over there, or built over there, with this system. We're going to connect this one to that. Right now the lever's still on. I left it on. And yeah, so now we have a signal that will disable the deactivation of both of these. Well, actually, yeah, now I think about it, we don't need this one. Just, uh, did not mean to remove that. We didn't remove that one. Sorry. We wasted our time building that one. Because that one should not, or the first one should not have any correlation with the third one. I believe. So yeah. Uh, so we press the first one that's going to do that. Which now if we press the second one. That one 
should do what we just did there. So we're just going to grab the connection, we're going to drag it down. See, it's a good thing we built it, but I just attached it to the wrong point. So, yeah. And we build that down. Attach a repeater just in case. And there we go. Now we have signal coming from there. Now, for the moment, I'm going to add glowstone. Well, actually, would that work there? I don't think it would. Alright, you know what? Forget that. We're just going to do that. I'm going to add a couple of glowstone there. I could do that. We're going to add glowstone at the end of that. And glowstone once we move this right here. As I can't even place blocks properly. Okay, now essentially, we press the first lever. And that lights up. Nothing else lights up. We press the second lever. That lights up. And light the first one. Oh, yes, okay, that's right. I haven't de uh, deactivated the thing yet. But yeah, so far it would set up as you press this, this, and that. So that's what we have so far. And of course, also, uh, this is going to be a longer video. I'm just now saying this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now we have the third connection. If this one is pressed in the wrong order, we're going to have this con We're going to remove that glowstone so we can do this. Take it out about three blocks in my case. Yeah, I think I pulled that back one. Yep. No need in that. I'm going to just drag this down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another glowstone tower. But this one's gonna be for a uh, to disable, and all you need to do is disable the what would have been the next one. So if you are trying to still activate the first lever, you should deactivate the first lever. Trying to activate the second lever, deactivate the second lever, and so on and so forth. That's how the concept should work for uh, disabling. Uh, the combination lock if the wrong combination is put in. So, just kind of the redstone there. Just for safety, I'll put a repeater there in case I forgot how to count. And we just, instead of using it, putting it onto that first one, we're going to stick it into this one. So, now we're going to hook this up. And this will be the first actual deactivation one, I believe. So now, if you were to activate this lever, that one would have lit up, as you see the glowing redstone. But now, if you were to try to activate this one, nothing works. Of course, I activated it on the wrong one. But yeah, same concept. I could also just drag this one down. And attach it onto this. Either way it works. Or should work anyway. And I actually I don't know if this is enough signal. Oh it is. So yeah, now if I were to have deactivated this. Uh what's still activated? Oh, the middle one. Right? No. There we go, okay. So now if we were to activate this one, and try to activate the first one, which would have been the one, the first number in the combination, nothing's going to work. So now, if you press this one, will this do the same? It will still work. Because we don't have the kill combination thing on this one. So, well, do we? I thought we attached that. We did, kind of. Um, hold on. I'm going to pause. I'm going to see what I did here. Oh, yeah. So, I found out what I did wrong. Reattach this. And instead of attaching that there, let's throw that over here. I don't know what made me do that, but I attached that in the way, way wrong area. For some odd reason, I don't even know how or why I did that, but I did. Now, I'm going to just drag this over here real quick. 
this should be enough connection. That's what it was intended for. I just completely forgot about that. So yeah, the first part was correct. Uh, so now, if we press this one, which is the incorrect one, we try to press this. That lights up still. Hold on. Do we not have enough signal? No, we do not. Alright, that explains why that didn't work. See, that was just on my fault. Uh, that might not even be a problem on your side. Um, because the redstone conditions would be a lot different. So now we press that. And now we try to press this right lever. Why does it still have power? Did I accidentally throw a connection in there? No. Did I create a loop? Um... Huh. That's something I just noticed. Should I do that again? Press the wrong lever. Press this. Nothing happens. Okay, there we go. But I'm curious, what if we press this lever than that lever? Does the whole system break? No, okay, so that was just some derp, I think. Okay, now if you press this lever, which is the incorrect lever, and you press this lever. It works. Oh look, I'm gonna press this third one. Oh no, no signal. The door's not gonna open, or the chest isn't gonna appear. Okay, well, let's try to activate the third one. Third one goes in. Okay, let's try to activate the first one. Nope, and just because of how we set it up, try to activate the second one. Nope. But, if we try to activate the first one, we gotta light up. Second one, light up. Third one light up as you see right there and just quickly let's try to deactivate both those two then activate the third one it lights up second one lights up so we need to fix that too that's the last thing we need to fix and this one would go onto this connection right here so what we need to do is oh not that key I accidentally pressed E oh didn't we already set one up for that yes we did what is wrong? Huh, hold on, I'm gonna look at this. Okay, so, I think I found a, a fix. Um, which, by the way, I did say in the beginning there wasn't gonna be pistons. But, it seems like one may be required, if this works, as my Facebook notification goes off. Um, What's going to be happening is we have this connection right here, right? Well, how about instead of connecting it right from here, let's set it up on a a thing like this so that the redstone has to go through this. Which, of course, we all know if a block is placed there, that disables. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a piston like that and just for now I'm gonna have it pulled back okay now what's gonna happen is this right here is going to stop doing that and it's going to send signal like it normally would let's make sure it reaches okay actually I'm gonna turn off these levers real quick so I can do that okay now we turn on this first lever right it's gonna do this well, if the first lever is pulled, which is going to keep this one alive, then the third pull uh, lever is pulled, instead of the second lever, which by the way, the second lever doesn't kill it, right? Yeah. Wait, hold on, ooh. Oh, wait, yeah. So, what we want to do is we are going to also route some connection right onto here this is just a quick fix oh that shouldn't go there and place that there there and there now if we activate this lever boom piston extends disables the killer connection and now the second switch is killed so now we have officially fixed it 
We're going to just disable both of these. And so we can see all the combinations. We got those two lights. Let's just add a light real, uh, real quick right here. Just so we can make sure that it's activating properly. Okay, we pull the first lever. We got a light right there. Second lever. And third lever. We have all three lights. Okay, now let's try the third lever. Third lever lights up. Ooh. Hold up. Why is there signal in here? Oh, oh I know why. Well, let me just deactivate all of that. That way it's a fresh start. Yeah. So we're going to pull the first lever, pull the third lever, and then pull the second lever. Only two light up. Okay, let's reset it. Then we pull the second lever, third lever, nothing even activates this, there's no need in continuing. Pull the third lever, second lever, nothing happens. So now we officially have that combination. Um, if you'd like, you can just leave it like this. Quite literally, this is all you have to do with a redstone clock like that. Now, of course, as you saw, there was a, an issue, but I'm, I don't see people using that issue because what happened was I did this, this, and this, which is the combination. And then I disabled these two, but that left the signal still going. If you have this going, the door is already going to be open. So there's no need in that right there, and that's the only way to activate it. Now, I'm going to be honest. There's no need in adding redstone to these, because that's just more likely of it to break. But if for some reason you just have to do it, because you want to have everything to do something, all you would do is attach these extra levers, which I'm going to do this one as a reference, is you're going to attach this, oh, not to that redstone build. I'm just going to like bring it along. And what you would do is you would, of course, put a lever, to, or in my case, you put a repeater there to keep connection going. But you would just connect it there. That way it kills the connection. You would do that to all the ones that have a killable connection or just one, which would probably be just that one anyway. So, yeah, you can just simply attach them all to just one. Now, if you pull that and try to activate, well, let's actually activate the correct combination. So let's turn this off. Now we turn it on. Activate the first one, activates. Second one, activates. Third one, no light. So yeah, that's that build. Um, that is the... I don't think anybody requested it, but I still wanted to build it. I like to build redstone things, and to me that was a new challenge. So yeah, now just to look at what we have in the world so far. Which is quite a bit. Uh, we have the redstone tips with slime blocks and all sorts of stuff like that in the world we also have uh, where's it at we have a couple of builds we have our clock uh, this year combination lock which oh yeah just a quick tip um oh yeah by the way you're gonna be activating this to it of course you can, if you want to build that big one you're crazy but two I like it <laughs> but uh, you don't need that in fact, you could just use the simple torch, 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 and each instead of leading to a instead of leading to a um, what's it called glowstone lamp. Um, what you would do is you'd have this set up to it instead, where they'd all go into their torches, and then this will go into a repeater, which would then go into a block, which would then have a torch on the other end. Or you can just have it up here, either way, it deactivates. And then you have an activated door. I mean, it's that simple. So there's that. But yeah, um, the tip was, if you want to have it set up, you can have it like the, uh, this is number one. This is number two. Not three. Hit the wrong key. That way you know exactly where each signal leads. That's just a quick tip for uh, the combination designers. If you're losing track of your redstone signal, it might help a little bit. So we have that. We have the 
uh, slot, slot machine thing, which usually works, but on 1.8 every once in a while it bugs out. And where is it at? Oh yeah, this was the whole send and receive system, which I just want to activate this because it's fun. It's fun. Oh, that's right. That was the wrong one. Um, that was the keep chest. I forgot about that. We'd just throw random junk in here if we wanted to throw it back out. Forgot about that. And it's just infinite loops. It's awesome. I right, give that back though. There we go. Okay, so we have that. And now we have another build, which is the combination lock, but it's literally a combination lock. You have to put in the right combination for it to work. So, yeah. Hope you guys liked that video. Uh, comment down below what you'd like to see me do next. Uh, whether it's a redstone build or a different type of video. Like it if you liked it, and also if it helped you. And uh, subscribe for more awesome content, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.